Don't treat personal problems like dragons, like they don't exist. I believe the name of the uh, professor is uh, Jordan Peterson or Jordan Patterson. He had shared a story of um, a children's book and there was a kid who woke up and um, found a kitten sized dragon and it evolved um, bigger and bigger um, and affecting uh, the kid's day, the kid's home, the kid's family and although it was simply just a um, children's book fuck oh, man, the message of uh, of ignoring something, ignoring a small problem, ignoring something that's not supposedly not there. Um, I look at myself and I think, fuck, you know, I could uh, be reading more, I could be drawing more, I could be sketching more, I could be studying more, I could be networking more, I could be um, sharing more, I could be uh, knocking on more doors, I could be, um, what else could I be doing? Um, Exercising more it could be uh, looking for uh, better deals on um, groceries. I could uh, be calling more clients. I could be doing this. I could be doing that. And there's a um, a fine line between beating yourself up and thinking, "Hmm, how can I be more effective?" Versus, "Oh my goodness, I'm overwhelmed." And at the moment, I'm firing all torpedoes on just creating a collection of work that will speak for itself, which will sell, sell itself somewhat. But I, I encounter, um, I encounter, keep encountering, and I have encountered a lot of people who um, I've helped out. And at times it felt like the solution was obvious, and the solution was became obvious um, with work and patience with um, some people. And I'm no fucking genius. Just have high school diploma. Didn't uh, come from the uh, brightest nor the warmest, nor the most loving background. And that's, uh, I think that falls under mysteries of the mind as to why I believe certain things or am hungry for certain things or am focused towards certain things. Uh, um, Jim Rohn's uh, Mysteries of the Mind comment of uh, say, chalking things up as mysteries of the mind as to why so, so as to why some people do certain things, seize the moment, and other people complain. And uh, I'm pretty sure it uh, could break down my childhood and uh, find uh, different factors as to why I believe certain things. But I think I could tell you better more of the result than I can for the recipe. Because it's also, I believe, like uh, stepping on dog shit. I could tell you about, uh, you know, I actually did step on dog shit uh, a few weeks back. Walking the dogs and walking backwards as I'm um, putting on their leashes. And um, from that story, I could tell you. Watch where you're stepping. Careful when you take a, a shortcut, because even if you're walking backwards, you still need to look where you're going. There's no certainty without looking. So it's better to look. Another time, it's being uh, just not watching my step.
No, que simply just say, um, stepping on dog shit is pretty bad, don't do it. Yeah, so, yeah, don't treat your problems like dragons, as if uh, things that don't exist. No, um, admit, I like to admit that I have flaws, that I have a lot of room for improvement, for taking action, for making shit happen. Um, shit, even with this uh, video, I could um, speak more clearly get a better microphone or, or get a separate microphone instead of just using the straight out phone um, get better lighting get um, uh, what's, what's it called uh, sound soundproof um, the area right here where I'm at so that you could uh, limit the um, the ambient noise, the background noise. Currently make the shadows here. Check it out. You can see the colors more clearly. I can make it happen that way. I can make those things happen. Eventually, but and I've got to admit, you know, what what big fish do I want to fry? What's the main fish I want to fry, which is uh, creating a collection of work that, um, again, speaks for itself, which will eventually be able to sell itself. And that's my, uh, my focus, but I could simply just... Um, be ignorant and say, oh, you know what, people just don't want to buy my stuff because it's racist and I'm be ignoring the selling factor. I could be ignoring the quality of my work, the detail of it. I could be ignoring the, uh, my audience, the opinion of, my audi of the audience I'm trying to sell to. It's even the correct one. I think should I make that black here? I'm not too sure. I'll work with some more of the lighter, lighter colors here. But yeah, that's uh, it's an excellent story, man. The um, Jordan Peterson or Jordan Patterson, I can remember the name exactly. And again, again it um, it bugs me a lot when I just see people let uh, little problems turn into big problems, and they, they give up on their dreams and. Man, fuck uh, funerals of fucking dead bodies. Man. That does not bother me. <laughs> it doesn't. To me, what's worse is just seeing the look of defeat. You can see it in people's eyes at times. It's, look at someone in the face. Someone who's unhappy. Man, it's It's scary. It's scary. It's a real fucking zombie. A real fucking zombie. Yeah, I coulda, woulda, shoulda. Yeah. Not for me, bro. And, uh... You know, it makes more heavy lifting for you at times, because if they were on your team especially, you're like, uh, man... And you could, um, you could try to drag these motherfuckers across the finish line with you, but at times you're like, fuck, you know, it's, um, 
more effective, cheaper, smarter, more productive if I just uh, fuck, let that motherfucker, um, it's called sulk, sulk in his own mess, marinate in their own tears, you know, follow the zone, let them follow or believe the zone, weak thoughts. You got enough shit to do. You know, I mentioned all the things I could do and improve. So. And with all the things that I have to do, could do, will do, should do, how much time could I waste by saying, and I need to um get my friend, get the homie, get the homegirl, get my BFF, get my bestie. Um, get this motherfucker, this bitch, this friend, my best friend, um, this person, my brother, my sister, my cousin, my neighbor. They deserve this success. You know what? Sometimes um again chalk it up to mysteries of the mind. Sometimes people um want things uh, their own way and I, I believe you just got to accept that man what if you let's say you drew um, unicorns and leprechauns and four-leaf clovers which I um, I really don't have an interest in studying or drawing or creating just personal preference. I think there's more interesting things out there for me to do. Um, much more things that are more interesting that um, get my attention, focus, and attention to detail. But you could try and try and try and try and try and try and try to uh, convince me that no, nah, dog, you um, these unicorns, these four-leaf clovers, the shit, man. That's what you should be drawing. You could spend a day. An hour, minutes, and hours, days, and weeks into years trying to convince me, and you'll just be um, be wasting time. And what if you use that time instead to simply just um, create work that is awesome instead? And um, potential. Even me, I know that. Uh, um, I'm still in in um, my potential my fullest potential won't be until I won't realize it until maybe moments before I uh, my heart starts stops beating uh, preferably at the age of 101 and No, also kind of, uh, I don't even think about that, but as I am uh, taking my last breaths at the age of 101, thinking, fuck, you know, look at what I did. Cool. And that's it for now.